this is a big step. To be able to make the kind of transition you're talking about to turn a crisis into progress, as we've done in our own ways with fires, floods, drought, pandemic, it doesn't just require partnership and smarts and good coordination. The proof is in the pudding. You gotta be able to incentivize, subsidize, mandate in certain senses. You gotta be able to make that transition. And for a long time, with the clean energy future, and even on the other side, where we as a county run health services locally, and with the extension of Affordable Care Act provisions underneath this, and the prescription drugs, you know, we're talking about a big, impactful piece of legislation that is gonna hit the local level in a beautiful way. This morning in our Board of Supervisors meeting, we allocated $5 million towards climate projects. Yet at the same time, what we see in our briefing was what we can do for our general fund, what we can do with our budgets, with the city, with the states, with our own practices, is nothing if we cannot leverage it with the federal system and this kind of incentive that's there. I've been the president of the California counties. I'm the, gonna be the president of the National Association of Counties. You know, 3,069 counties around this country were kind of the delivery mechanism for the federal. Uh, and this is gonna give us a lot of fuel to work towards clean energy. And it's not just high level stuff, it's the kind of stuff that is happening locally, the magic in our communities, the reductions in greenhouse gases, but also the advent of mitigation and other adaptation strategies. So for us, this is a big thank you. This is a big thank you because we can all negotiate until we're blue in the face, but until we have incentives, subsidies, mandates, and other things that we have to do, we don't see change. So rock and roll, sir. Thank you, appreciate it.